Today I will demonstrate the same process used by Percy Waters centuries ago to recreate the look of his famous blueprint flash. It's called cyanotype and it's a photographic printing process that produces a cyan blue print. I chose to use this old flash I painted and for two reasons. One, this flash has no colors in it. And two, I thought it was funny as the design in the middle are from one of my earlier videos here on YouTube. You need to get a copy of your flash or design onto a piece of acetate. Acetate is a thin plastic sheet that you often can find at your local art store. You can draw directly on top of the acetate with a marker if you don't have access to a Xerox machine. What's important to know is that the blacker the design on the acetate, the less light shines through equals crispier white on the final result. Now we just need to grab the potassium ferrous cyanide you have laying around and mix it with the ferric ammonium citrate your mom bought you for Christmas. Cross your fingers and hope not to die. Just kidding, there's a great kit out there from Jacquard that comes with two bottles containing a powder that you only need to add regular tap water. It's important to shake each bottle before use. You mix part A and B to create the sensitizer you will use to coat your paper. One tablespoon of each part is enough for one 12 by 9 inch paper. When mixing, make sure to work in a dark area. I had to keep my lights on so you could see what's going on. Your card claim one kit contains enough chemistry to make approximately 65 8 by 10 inch prints. With the kit comes excellent instructions for how to mix and store it for later use. The paper I'm using here is a 300 gram hot press from Saunders and Waterford. But you can try with whatever paper you have at hand. I would recommend watercolor paper as it can handle the moisture well. Taping the paper onto a piece of wood keeps it from folding. If you're into a clean blue background for your sheet, try to avoid the solution pulling up in areas of your paper. When you've coated the paper, let it air dry in the dark. While we are waiting for the paper to dry, I thought I'd take a moment to promote my website. At SoberJoeCollective.com you can find a list of all the materials I'm using in my videos, frequently asked questions and a small shop where you can purchase my flashbook, prints, original flash and more. So make sure to visit SoberJoeCollective.com after this video. Thank you. The paper is now dry and ready to be exposed. Still, make sure to work in a darker room to prevent the paper from being exposed before you have attached your acetate. I found it important that your paper sits flat so no light can slip through when you put your acetate on top. You can use regular transparent tape to hold your design firmly in place. As I'm located up north here in Sweden, there's hardly any sunlight in the winters so I have to use an old UV lamp. I had this lying around from when I tried my hands on screen printing years ago. If you live in a warmer climate, you can just put your paper in the sun for it to be exposed. I found 25 minutes of exposure works for the result I'm after. According to Jacquard, the manufacturer of this kit, overexposure is generally preferred to underexposure. The print should look bronze in color after enough exposure. Now it's time, the overwhelming feeling of seeing your design like magic appear in white on Prussian blue background. Remove your acetate. Be careful not to tear the paper when removing the tape. Process the print in cool running water for at least 5 minutes. You can clearly see if there are areas where the light slip through as it will appear darker or out of focus. 
I don't mind this as it only makes it look more authentic. Leave your print to air dry, the blue will keep getting darker for the next 24 hours. A lot of information in this rather short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I've linked all the materials needed in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you will try this technique out, and when you do, come back here and tell others your experience. Until next time, bye.